Vertigo and dizziness is no fun, and it is a central feature to the condition of vestibular migraines. As I've mentioned in other videos, vestibular migraines oftentimes can be co-occurring with BPPV, benign proxismal and positional vertigo. If you don't know what BPPV is, go ahead and watch my other videos. In essence, it involves the crystals of the inner ear moving to a part of the inner ear where they shouldn't be. Your eyes move as a reflex because the crystals are moving in your inner ear canal. And as a result, people get vertigo. Nuances to this are important because we can see confusing features in those who have vestibular migraines and the possibility of BPPV. When assessing a patient who has vertigo, oftentimes doctors will place that patient into different positions, i.e. they might be laying on their side on an examination bench, they might be laying with their head off the table, turned 45 degrees to one direction, called the Hallpike test with the head in extension. None of this is medical advice, just information, consult with your doctor. Nonetheless, when doing this test, we can get nystagmus, which refers to a slow drift of the eyes one direction and then a reset back. What I just said was a voluntary eye movement, but it is an illustration of nystagmus. When that nystagmus has a fast phase towards the ground, we call that a geotropic nystagmus, geo referring to the earth. So the nystagmus is beating or moving in its fast phase towards the earth. If the nystagmus has a fast phase away from the earth, we call that apogeotropic nystagmus. And when the patient's history matches up with them laying on a certain side and the nystagmus, either geotropic or apogeotropic, occurring and oftentimes being more pronounced in one direction or on one side of the body, i.e. laying on one side, then we can conclude lots of times that there may be, for example, horizontal semicircular canal involvement. The critical finding in this recent research study is saying that vestibular migraine patients can present with geotropic and apogeotropic horizontal nystagmus. But what's important for those who are in the dizziness and vertigo world is that in vestibular migraine patients, if the nystagmus is not fatiguing, which is opposite of what we'd expect with BPPV, if it's not fatiguing, then that is a finding seen in vestibular migraine patients. Whereas if it does fatigue, that's more likely to be uh, associated with BPPV. So tonight's talk is a little more nuanced. Let me know your questions. Dr. Randall Gates, board certified chiropractic neurologist, chiropractic physician from Gates Brain Health and Advanced Imaging Reno.